Hello, so welcome to this video for Comp 3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. My name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... Uh, Ioan Daniel Malinov, and I'm a research fellow working with Dave on a project uh, with mixed reality systems, and I'm interested in VR stuff as well. Brilliant. Um, thanks for joining us, Owen. I'm really looking forward to, to playing a couple of games with you. Um, for this uh, for this coursework, we asked the students to create a game with a strong core dynamic and a tutorial. So uh, we've got a couple of things to look at, so let's get on and look at our first game. Right, so our first game is called Room Civilization Grave, which is a intriguing title. There we are. Is that how you, do you think I'm pronouncing it right? Room? Room? Um, yeah. Like. Okay, so I've got a start menu, I've got levels, presumably I can choose different levels. So yeah, I like it. I like that there's some nice music going on. Um, kind of has a sort of fits with the visuals. Let's make a start. Oh, nice. Commander, pay attention, explorer. The spacecraft is passing an unknown galaxy. We don't know what creatures are waiting for us. Let's practice with the operation. Continue. So I have to click, do you think? Click continue. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, use the arrow keys to move. Press space and hold it to attack. Press X to perform <laughs> clockwise rotation. Oh. Z okay. to perform an anti clockwise rotation. And C to go back to the original direction. Oh, this is gonna I go this is gonna good. go really well. <laughs> I have to coordinate multiple limbs here. Um <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get familiar. The moon is always relates to the current forward direction of the spacecraft. Room bless you. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my life. <laughs> so do I press so press space to fire? Mission failed. I was pressing space. It wasn't doing anything. Are you holding it down or? Uh, good question. Oh, has this crashed now? Menu start. I couldn't even fire then. So I don't know if what you saw what happened is when I changed orientation of the spacecraft, my left and right still was the left and right from the spacecraft. So my left arrow key doesn't move the spacecraft left ah. on the screen. It moves the spacecraft left according to the spacecraft. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> Which, you know, I guess kind of works with strafing. But I, I, ooh, it was a bit weird. Um, this seems to have broken, unfortunately. So I'm not quite sure oh. why. I might have to restart the game. Right, so it looks like we find a little bug. Let's try and reload the game and see if we can try again. So this time I will see if I can actually fire. Pay attention. Yeah, I certainly do. Let's <laughs> practice with the operation. So I use the arrow keys to move, space and hold it to attack. Uh, what? Yeah. Get familiar. Why would you do that? So, so I'm, I'm, I am pressing space. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I've got I those little see. dots are up or something. I, so how do yeah. I... So I don't fire. I just get, like, a mission failed. I have a feeling that they have made this incredibly hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have a feeling they have no idea. Level 1, easy. Is this working? Play. Oh, there we go. I also have a feeling that they have no idea how hard it is. I just feel like my fire isn't doing anything. Revive fifty room coins. Yeah. Oh, you get forty. So, am I? Am I doing something? I just don't appear to be. I mean, I do. It does, yeah. It looks like they're going down. I'm wondering whether I'm trying to figure out whether I've got some. Like, what? My, why does my fire look so strange? 
So I. Uh, yeah, on my side it's a bit of a slideshow, so I cannot really. Right. Okay. Tell. It it it's. Oh my life! It doesn't. Uh. Yeah. This is this is incredibly difficult. Because I'm at the top of the screen there. So if I turn round to face down, because at the bottom of the screen, uh, if I turn to face down, going left goes right, and goes right goes left. Yeah. Um. I uh, and, and and yeah, just doing any kind of any kind of any kind of steering is just impossible. And, and yeah, yeah. I just I just mission failed. Yeah, this is this is easy. I mean, I just can't I just can't uh. do it at all. It's, it's way way too hard. Um, I I would be very interested to see. I'm to see them play this game. Um, I'm not great at this kind of game, but I'm okay, right? Um, and I I for me this is if this is murderously punishingly difficult. Um, and we did talk in the lectures about kind of how to how to manage difficulty and how to try and. Uh, avoid punishing games and this looks to me like it's um, it's making it's actually making a mistake that that not many people do which is about deliberately making the controls hard right so um, you know I, I think that that thing that as soon as you turn around uh, it, it changes the orientation of your controls is is yeah makes it very very difficult um, this also seems to be broken again Let's try start. Maybe that's because it's the. If I go into a level, perhaps I can go in that way. And then, and then it's paused. And I have to click unpause and then. So this isn't too bad, right? Because I, because my controls are. It's hard. It's immediately very hard. <laughs> but you know, it's it's just like a bullet hell shooter basically, but. But I mean, you can see how difficult it is for me to kill the kill the aliens. It's like I have to. Yeah. Um, so this this is difficult, but then what happens is when I do clear this lot here, then I get onto this second screen, this second wave. And the problem with these ones is that they gather at the bottom of the screen, so I can't. I have to reorientate oh, myself. See. Right. Um, and it, and it just it just becomes impossible. So let's try and I mean I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give up trying to do it because I, I think I have to if I do this. But it just seems so, it just takes so long to kill them. Oh, well, there is a I think there is like a, a period after you revive where you don't receive damage. Yes. Which so I was hoping, which I was, so so I was hoping to use that and go straight in. Let's try the normal, shall I? Because easy, easy was murderously hard. So let's um, let's see what what normal is. Oh wow! Okay. So I still don't really understand. So, like, my damage is it only damage people? Does it only damage people when I? I mean, I can't fly through that. There's no path, right? Just died. Okay, let's let's try the hard one. Right, let's see how we get on with this one. Is that a collectible? No, no, it's shooting at me. Yeah, I'd love to see them play this. I would love to know whether this was physically possible, because I'm wondering if it is. <laughs> it I, has to be. I I kind of. I yeah, it looks to me like I'm not actually shooting, that I just get these little blocks that appear, and I have to line uh, those blocks up. I mean, look at that. Yeah, yeah, really tricky. Um, at least they've they've made the right decision of um, letting me choose a level, so I get to at least see a bit more of their game. It's always a good yeah. idea. But yeah, I mean, I just can't. As soon as as soon as you turn around, I mean, it just 
it just just becomes totally impossible. <laughs> oh, that's incredible! I just can't control that at all. There's <laughs> no way. It's like, uh, yeah, awful. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's 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 one of those things where it's it's um. It's so impossibly difficult. It it it's funny. <laughs> uh, do you think if the movement of the ship was through the mouse, that it would be easier? Yes, definitely. I mean, that would be the normal the normal thing, right? Um, I think so. Uh, yeah, and um, and also the fact I have to space. I mean, why would I not press space? Right? Why, uh, why would I not just be firing? That and, that's true. Yeah. And and the fire is very weird. Like I said, it it, it it looks like I've it doesn't actually fire. Oh I've got some sort of horrible mothership thing going on. Wow. I appear to be surviving a bit better for this one, I'm not sure why. Yeah. Oh uh, that's a lot of chaos. Yeah. Uh, are they coming off in a pattern? I think they are. So, so oddly, this bit here is actually much more doable because because there's a pattern, and although I'm yeah. failing failing miserably, it is there. There's a way of, but I'd also don't appear to be oh, damaging yeah, well. it. I'm kind of quite sure. Oh, oh, it changes the changes pattern. Change the patterns and the pattern. It's really difficult. Ten thousand health. Oh, oh, you, almost you did so it! Cool. Almost did it! Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure how much of this game we've seen, but I am not going to get much further, right? Um, so I think we start going through the the criteria while I try the um, the alleged easy level and see how we get on. Um, so presentation. So, I mean. The, it, the presentation isn't bad actually. It's got um, it's got a nice soundtrack that works really well. Um, it's the graphics. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't say they're spectacular graphics, but they work well. They're consistent. Um, it's a little bit of a shame they didn't do a little bit more with these menus. It's kind of a bit basic, um, you know, compared to like the, the ship health thing with a little icon and all that kind of stuff. That's all really nice. Um, but but yeah, it's not it's not bad at all, really. Um, the only thing I would say is there aren't any sound effects. I mean, I'm guessing that just oh. because it would just be a horrendous <laughs> cacophony of, of bullet, you know, bullet hell basically. But yeah, um, yeah, getting these things is just nigh on impossible. Um, but yeah, it's okay. So I mean, I would say the presentation. Um, so a satisfactory mark would be sort of workable, uh, you know, uh, and a good would be professional. And I would say that it's it's not quite professional. There's a couple of mismatches here, but it's definitely workable. Um, and and maybe. I mean the information design. I mean, I, there's there's things like the the shield around the ship that's that's occurring. I mean, one of the problems you have on a game like this is that your um, oh, your your eyes are on your ship, right? So you're never ever going to be looking at anything other than your ship. So when you've got stuff around the edges of the screen, like we've got that little ship health down the bottom right bottom left hand corner, um, you just yeah, don't, yeah, you just don't yeah. look at it, right? Because it's you know. It's just um, it's just completely out of your your attention, um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, but I, I would say it's it's definitely the workable level. It's uh, it, it it works just fine. Looks pretty good. Um, I, I might even think that it's maybe halfway between satisfactory and good with the with the kind of thematic music as well. Um, but I'm I'm com tempted because of the lack of sound effects. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm tempted to stick at the satisfactory level. Um, yeah, I think that's a fair point. Yeah, um, and that leads us to the meaningful play. <laughs> yeah, I mean there is the some. Mechanics, controls, and bugs. Yeah, there is some play, right? I can play, but yeah, 
just just the difficulty curves way off the scale and the controls are very very difficult so so uh, absent would be you know unplayable right um i don't think it's unplayable um but i do think it's limited right so limited would be kind of insufficient mechanics, difficult controls, or may have sort of critical bugs. I mean, it doesn't have critical bugs. Um, it's got one or two, well, at least that one bug we found with going back yeah, into start. Um, yeah. But the mechanics are, as, as, as far as we know, very simple. So so I can rotate my ship and move around the screen, and I can, I, it's not really a fire, it's whatever, whatever this is, right? Um, so I can, you know, I can do that, uh, but there's no, there's no collectibles as far as I can tell. The the levels give me different fire shapes, but they're not really linked to any kind of progress within the level. Maybe I haven't made enough progress within the level. Um, so yeah, we've got a limited set of mechanics, I think, and the controls are are on the verge of being unplayable. I would say. Um, maybe I'm being a bit harsh. It's, let me let me think about this. So why is that? Unplay is it the controls that make it unplayable, or is it the level design? It's kind of a bit of a combination of both. Um, yeah. But I but well, I think it's, it's I, I, I it's yeah controls. yeah I, th I think it's beyond challenging, right? It's, so challenging would be a pass. Um, and those controls are kind of awkward. I I think they're difficult. I think it, it's down at the poor level for meaningful play, unfortunately. Oh, I did just get to oh. this bit. Nice. Let's see if we can get a. See, maybe, maybe. So these, these, these kind of end of level bosses, although it's almost impossible to get through their fire patterns without dying. I, I am now playing, right? So when I'm in that sort of just absolute mess of stuff, um, ah. I, I don't feel like I'm playing, right? I am just. I'm just sort of trying, you know, to trying to survive as long as possible and, and moving around the screen. But I'm not really playing. When I get to the bosses, I've got I've got proper patterns um, that I can play with. I can you know I can I, by ignoring some of the some of the, the controls that are impossibly difficult, I, it becomes a bit more playable. So maybe for play, maybe we maybe poor is a bit a bit harsh. Maybe it should be halfway between a poor and a pass. To reflect the fact that we do have some sections where, actually, we we do have some play. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. So shall we? Yeah. Go to the goals, risks, and rewards. Yeah. So what's my what's my goal? It looks like it's to defeat the final boss of the level. Yeah, but about am I trying to score points? Am I trying to uh, survive? Am I trying to make progress through a series of stages? What's the how far am I? You know, so so I think there's the goal is kind of quite is is implicit, which is to obviously you know destroy everything and and defeat the final boss. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure. Like, if I played this and didn't defeat the final boss, and I played it again and didn't defeat the final boss, how would I know which playthrough I'd been more successful at? Uh, um, oh, I made that mistake again. Let's go back to the menu. Let's I guess try... the one where you. I'm gonna try the hard. Got further, maybe. Or... Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't tell you that, right? The one that felt <laughs> like it maybe. Uh. Uh. So ironically, although this is also insanely difficult, I've got a feeling that the hard level is easier than the easy level. Is it because of the pattern of the uh, bullets you shoot? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's because I've got more. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm also not sure what I should be avoiding. So I clearly should be avoiding these big black and white things. But what about these little little sort of shards? I've got 
the things, so I don't know what they are. There you go. So let's get rid of that one. So what happens in the end? There's so much stuff flying around, you end up just kind of ignoring it. Because it's it's just too much to pay any kind of attention to. Okay, so I, again, I, I feel like this is better. I've got I've got a bit more sense of play here. I think there's kind of like weird things that look like sort of spiky tie fighters. I don't know how to describe them. Otherwise. They appear to do me damage. Everything else is just stuff. Um, nice to. So just I, I think that's the case. Just background. Where was it? I, I can't tell. Um, oh yeah, that's part of the information design in a way. Yeah. But there's the there's the end guy. So again, we've got patterns. I can deal with that. Oops. Yeah, you're you're slowly chipping away the field. Yeah, see now it's really difficult, but I feel like I'm playing. It's interesting, as soon as the bosses come out, it's like, it's a, it's a much, much better experience. Oh, I feel kind of like I'm sort of getting somewhere. Oops. Oh, Am I going to defeat him before I run out of... No, I can't, just can't get him. I think you make it, you have... One more life after this. All right, I'm trying to use my shields as best I can because so uh, so interestingly, this is now it's now kind of failed because oh. oh, did I defeat him? Uh, <laughs> the health says minus one hundred and ten. Yeah, so I have defeated uh... them, but the game hasn't stopped or done anything or rewarded me. Perhaps they didn't expect anyone to do that. <laughs> 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 it was like a bit of a bug, I think. Yeah, I, th I think they've. Um... Yeah. I can go back to the menu. All right. So, um, goals, risks, and rewards then. So, I would say that, that I kind of know what I'm doing, but the goal isn't entirely clear. Am I trying to survive? Am I trying to kill bosses? Am I trying to score points? Those kinds of things. Also, when we talk about risks and rewards, what are the risks and rewards I have here? Because there's no. Normally what you get on a, on a game like this, or I did it again, is you would get kind of collectibles in game that would improve your situation. And then you have to make a kind of a judgment as to whether or not it's worth you picking up those collectibles, right, rather than destroying the enemy, right? And, that, and that's yeah. how they get the risk reward thing. It's like, yeah, you take a risk, but as a, you know, you get a boost to your firepower or your health or a sh temporary shield or something as a result. There isn't anything like this here. There's no, there's no risk and reward at all, I don't think, unless you can think of one. Yeah, I... Yeah, uh, unless you count, you know, the revive. Do I revive or just quit? But that's not really a... No. So I, I think we've got a vague goal and no risk and reward. So a poor would be an incoherent or very limited set of goal, risk, and reward. And again, I think kind of think that's where we are. Um, you might even argue that with risk and reward, there's no serious attempt at establishing risks and rewards, which would be absent. Um, but I, you know, but there is there is some notion of goal setting. So yeah, perhaps perhaps what we're looking for is um, halfway between an absent and a poor. You know, we've got we've got a you know a, a limited goal that's not very clear and no real risk rewards at all, which is a shame. I guess you could argue that the game itself, the game mechanics, are inherently uh, inherently contain the risks in a way. Do I? Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, try to dodge. Do, or, or, or do I try to tell it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good point. Through them and that's a very good point. All right. Well, in that, let's give them benefit of the doubt, and we'll go for the poor mark then to say that they're 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 present in terms of the play, but that they're just a very limited set. Um, 
But yes, that is a good point. So pacing. Um, is there a variation in tension over time? So there's variation over time and there's a little bit of variation in tension because I start off with a handful of these things and before long there's hundreds of them. <laughs> and they're murdering me. So, you know, there's definitely there's definitely some rising tension. And then we get to a boss at the end. So that's a that's another break in pace. Um the yeah. Yeah. The odd thing is that it's a slightly weird you know, we've got, and I've got different waves of enemies as well. But it just feels a bit incoherent in terms of the difficulty. So, like, it starts off easy, but then I get lots of enemies. And then as I mop those enemies up, it gets easy again. Because the next set of enemies don't come in until I've wiped out the first wave. So I get a rise and fall of difficulty. And then I get the next wave come in, I get the same thing again. Um... Uh, these are much harder because because of, but but purely because they're on the where they are on the screen right I can't shoot them because I I dent on my ship rank because I'll just die um, and then I get to the yeah. boss which is definitely a change in pace but the problem with the boss is that it's actually easier than this bit right because yeah, because, because it it's... because it's regular and it moves in 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 patterns and and you know that's the bit of the get that's my favorite bit of the game by by a mile they've actually captured They've captured the feeling of that kind of end of level, you know, R type style boss fight really, really well. Um, so, a pass would be tension somewhat rises over time. Poor would be variations in tension but no coherent pattern over time. Um, Maybe it's halfway between those two, a poor and a pass. Yeah, there is a pattern. Yeah, but it's not. It's it's, yeah, it's the, the coherence. Yeah, um, yeah. And... It doesn't. It doesn't result in tension rising over time properly. I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's. And yeah, and the way that you said that the hard level is actually easier. Yeah. So in that sense, the tension kind of. I mean. There's also the levels. Uh, yeah, they just. Yeah, I th I think it's going to be halfway between the two, between a poor and a pass. I think there's kind of there's clearly some attempt to increase difficulty, and there's there's and so what they absolutely have is they absolutely have variations in difficulty, right? Um, and they have stages to their game, but it it, it doesn't produce a rising feeling of tension. Um, and the, the you know the levels just don't seem quite right. Yeah. So again, this 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 feels like it's an easier. I don't know, we should have spoken too soon. <laughs> um, and again, the, but the, the reason it was easier to start with is because they were moving in a pattern, right? Whereas whereas now they're they're spinning around and it's just it's just chaos. Um, um. And, I, and I think chaos is different than 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 complexity. I defeat this one. I've defeated one boss, which I kind of yeah, feel like, so. Which I, you know. I feel like I could put it on my CV. You know, <laughs> managed to defeat a boss in room <laughs> civilization's grave. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is CV worthy, yeah. Uh, oh, right, okay. Um, yeah, okay, where did we get to? Uh, so, the pacing we... Yeah, pacing we, we said was... halfway through. Yeah, I think so. So, I think, I think halfway between poor and pass, I think. Yeah, uh, and that leads some, us to the tutorial. Yeah. So the tutorial is that bit at the beginning. Um, initially, I quite liked it. I liked the, the bringing the character on to explain it to us. Um, but then, yeah. unfortunately, we just got a big info dump. 
Um, so what we're really looking for in, in a tutorial is something that introduces us to new mechanics and to new controls possibly as we play. So, you know, you do sometimes have a little mini info dump about the kind of core controls, you know, use WAS to move, press space to fire, that's very normal. Um, but you then expect kind of, you then expect to play for a bit and get used to those and then they introduce a new mechanic or a new aspect and, and so on. Now there aren't many new mechanics and aspects here, but you might argue, for example, that the the um, enemies that gather at the bottom of the screen, the reason I'm having a difficulty in fighting them is because I'm refusing to turn my ship, right? Um, uh, yeah. Um, and, and you weren't given enough time to practice that maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let's give me a next level. That's the hard level, right? So, yeah. I'm wondering if I can... Yeah, the controls for turning are very odd. Um, yeah, okay, so, yeah, so, on, yeah back to the, the tutorial. tutorial. So I think we do have an explanation, so a, a paw would be some explanation of gameplay and controls, definitely there. Pass would be a gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play. Yeah. And they, they just don't, they don't have anything that's revealed as you play at all, it's all info dump at the beginning. And I think partly that's because they, they don't have much to reveal, because the mechanics are quite limited. But maybe, you know, if you're going for this rotation thing, maybe they should have introduced the rotation thing. So I think I think that's got to be a, a poor, unfortunately. Yeah. What um, about the core dynamic? So I'm guessing the core dynamic is destruction. Um, it all, but it, it definitely has a sort of survival feel about it as well. But um, what did they say on their game notes? Ah, that's interesting. So, under the core dynamic uh, question, they say a 2D Danmaku shooting game with space traveling theme, highly interactive and need concentration. So they haven't said what we, the core dynamic is? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, they've provided some really, really nice drawings of the actual... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, envisioning how it would look like. Okay, but that's not what we asked for. So, yeah. so with the core dynamic, what we're looking for is a, a game that um, has a kind of a, 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 a type of it's, it's aiming for a particular type of experience, and the sorts of experience that we're having here uh, are might be destruction or survival. They're the two obvious ones. Uh, you might also argue that these games sometimes have a bit of a collection dynamic as well, but this one doesn't. So if this was a disruption core dynamic, um, it's all about enjoying the expression of power, right? Destroying stuff, getting better at destroying stuff, my success will be measured in how much stuff I have destroyed, right? Um, if it's survival, it has a slightly different feeling in that you feel a bit underpowered um, and that what you're trying to do is to survive as long as possible. And you might measure that in time, or you might measure that in stages. And the problem I've got here is that it's it's not obvious to me which one they've go, they're really trying to go for. It looks like a destruction one, right? There's a lot of stuff flying around. I have to clear waves of monsters to progress, or waves of enemies. But the problem is is that is that I'm not really enjoying the destruction. I don't feel powerful, right? I feel powerless, right? So the the experience is much more one of survival. Um, yeah, that's. But with the survival one, you know, there's no, there's nothing to measure my my progress or, you know, how well I'm doing at surviving or, um, yeah, it's just it's just a little bit all over the place, really. Um, you know, and, and if that's the case, why why give me this kind of this weird fire pattern and all the rest of it? Um, 
Yeah, so it feels to me like it's quite muddled, and they also don't seem to understand what they what, what one is. Um, so, a pour would be an attempt at a chord dynamic, but the primary mechanics detract from it. Uh, pass would be an attempt at a chord dynamic, but not well supported by the primary mechanics. And absent would be no serious attempt at developing a chord mechanic. Uh, sorry, developing a chord dynamic. Um, so, I, 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 yeah. It's not that it's absent, it's just that we've got it, it, we've got conflicting things and they just don't appear to have thought about it. Um, so, so satisfactory would be a clear chord dynamic, so it, it clearly isn't there. Poor would be an attempt at a chord dynamic but not well supported by the primary mechanics. So I think I think you might argue that if they were trying to do a destruction game that it's there um, because you, you, you're lacking you're lacking the kind of the the you know this ability to destroy and the, the uh, it's like a it's like a power fantasy and destruction dynamic in a sense um, I'm, I'm lacking that case, be, yeah um, and you might also say that if on the other hand they'd gone for a survival core dynamic that's also um, not well supported by the primary mechanics because um, because I'm, I'm I've got this kind of big firepower thing going on and it's not quite clear how that fits and all the rest of it. Um, so I think I think that you could make an argument that it's at the pass level. Uh, a poor is the primary mechanics detract from what they what's what they're doing, and the problem is is depending on what their core dynamic is. You could also argue that that's the case, right? So, and the problem is we don't know what they're trying to do because they haven't told us. So I, I, yeah, I, I think the best we could probably do there is halfway between the two to reflect the fact that they don't know what they're trying to achieve. But when you pick either of the mechanic, either of the dynamics, which the obvious ones here then um there are still some problems um yeah so maybe mm, and, and maybe that's the sort of the most generous we can be um and that takes us to their feedback so i'm intrigued at what their feedback was um uh that yeah uh, um so they have two more points so what is the mechanics uh where they you know explain the controls and yeah. pretty much the game and then the next one what are the limits and they say we haven't gotten any feedback from others and I don't know if they mean from other people playing the game or from uh, so, you have know. They, so have they got a feedback section? not really they have just the three questions or three points. Did they not follow the template? Did they not follow the mechanic? template that we gave them? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. It's, it's, it's yeah. Um, so okay. they do mention that uh, they are missing some audio effects. Uh, the final boss was unfinished and that they can make it a time recording game to make it more challenging. Okay, but have they got anything? Um, they may not have a feedback section, which is you know, that, what, that's what we asked them for. Everything. There's nothing in there that we can interpret as feedback. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be as yeah, generous no. as possible. Um, no. Okay. No. So, so okay, so uh, absent would be feedback is not reported or addressed. There is no serious attempt to make changes. Is there anything in there about the way that the game developed? Or changes that they made during the game development. I don't think so. Okay. It, so again, it's they have a few really nice drawings of how they've envi envi envisioned the game. Right. Then they have a part where they explain the controls and mechanics, like the coins yeah. to revive you, and then the limits. Right. The missing parts. And yeah. that's it. But we but we didn't ask for any of that. That's the problem. 
So, okay, yeah. okay. So I think we're just going to have to record an absent for that. Um, okay, that's a shame. So, uh, so I kind of... So I think I think what's a little bit frustrating about this game is that is that there's nothing wrong with bullet hell shooters. I mean that they're kind of they can be quite fun, but you know you need to you need to really know what you're trying to achieve. So if they were going for the destruction mechanic, the first thing they should have done is made it so that I could actually destroy stuff, right? I mean I and and that my weapon wasn't totally powerless. Um, and then I think they they needed to kind of think very carefully about how they were managing their difficulty and it should have started off much much simpler than it does right and then they should have built up the difficulty through the levels um, and by just going straight into this kind of chaotic process it, it sort of it there's not you know so when you have these kind of shooters there may be periods where you have this kind of chaos going on but they're then mitigated by other more structured sections and, and here it's just chaos, almost from the off, for the full game. And I think that's a problem. So I think with a, a little bit more careful consideration about the kind of level design in terms of the waves of the, of the enemies, um, perhaps perhaps revising their control system a little bit, um, they, they could have made this quite, quite a lot better, actually. Um, so, yeah, again, it's one of those ones where I feel there's a foundation for a good game here, but they're just not not managed to find it in the in the implementation um, yeah, agree. okay should we should we move on to our next game yeah let's move on so our next game is called d's nuts uh, i'm hoping d is a squirrel by the way he is thank god for that this could have been a very different type of video <laughs> D's nuts, right? Let's play. Uh, okay. Oh, it's worth saying, by the way. I like the, I like the intensity. The squirrel staring straight at the, at, the squirrel, <laughs> at you. Is there music or something? No, I've got no sound at all. Unfortunately, there's not even any anything where I click anything here. Little level select, but they're all locked. So let's do level one. Oh, here we go. So I can look around with the mouse. Wazd to move. Is it was to move uh, in a second? Yeah, there we go. All right, so there we are. Oh, and there's some nuts. Oh, so why, why am I finding the controls difficult? I think it's because I turn with Right, so the controls are difficult because I turn with A and D and I move the camera with the mouse. Uh, I whereas see. whereas I would probably expect to strafe with A and D and then so, so the way I turn is by moving the mouse. Does that make sense? So look, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I can yeah. turn I'm not pressing A and D at all and I'm I'm turning by using the mouse, so that's working. But then I can use A and D to, to turn at the same time and it's that's a bit Okay, it feels a bit weird. It's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm managing, but... Right, click the left mouse button. Yay! Got a nut. He's eating a nuts. There we go. All right, well, D seems happy. Yeah. And there's, yeah, on I the bottom of the screen... Uh, nuts needed. I was just about to say, I can't see anything telling me, but I, I hadn't spotted that. So I presume that means that I can go in this little door... You win. Oh, uh, time taken. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So, ah, that appears to be some sort of giant <laughs> sliding cat monster. All right. He, he pauses and, and, and has a nice nibble, which I suspect is going to get him into a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah okay. in case the cut. <laughs> I like the little animation. I quite like the style. It's quite cute. Um, oh, what's that? No. No. No something. Uh, maybe if you go inside, the cat doesn't see you. Oh, you think that's what it is? But it's really hard to move, look, because I can't... No, 
Nope, I'm not sure that. I'm not sure what those. Do you think you can't see if we're behind it? I, I no, I, I don't know what that means at all. He's over here where all the nuts are, though. In fact, if I go, warning. Oh, there's the. Uh, trying to be sneaky. <laughs> It's a cat, isn't it? Oh, oh you oh. lose. The cat found you tasty. Yeah, unfortunately, I was in the middle of <laughs> eating a nut. Ah, yes. Yeah, it did came, come back to him. Yeah. As you said. So, yep, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right, let's try and... go and I can get all these I still don't really know what that no sight thing means my cat's over there at the moment I think the cat kind of Gonna chase me? Oh, so the cat chases me or what? Really? Seems to be a bit of a. Right, let's run away over here. Have I got all the nuts? I've got all the nuts. There we go. Oh, is that it? Is that the? Is that the only two levels I've yep. got then? Okay. So there we have it. We have a squirrel. We have collecting nuts. We have an evil cat. Uh, we have mysterious boulders, hedges with yeah with no eyes on them. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, bushes. Um, let's start talking about the the marks criteria. So presentation. Um, yeah. I actually I actually quite like the the look of it. I think it's um it's quite attractive. It's consistent. Uh, uh, I've got uh, I... not a lot, of, not a lot going on. Um, it is worth saying this is the work of a single person, so we would expect the scope to be a bit smaller. Um, so there's not a lot of a need for information design. Um, but yeah, it, it it looks okay to me. Um, the 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 biggest problem, the biggest problem I think, is the the lack of sound. So I have no no oh. sound at all. It 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 would have been, I think, pretty easy just to put a soundtrack on here. Um, and it's a shame that that they haven't done that. Um, you know, sound effects are a bit a bit trickier. But again, you know, given that what I'm trying to do is to collect these things, you'd expect some kind of satisfying, crunchy nut sound. Um, yeah. When yeah. I collect the collect the acorns. Oh no. Oh, he stood on the nut now. Ah! Oh. Uh, go away, go away. Try to go in one of the bushes. See if that... Oh! Oh, oh I have to know if I came out of the bush. Well, let's try that without collecting any nuts and see if it makes any difference. Hello. You can't see me. I'm hidden in this bush. Uh. No, oh, I was out of the bush again. I need to need to make sure I'm in a bush. I really I want to know what these bushes do. Uh, I know what they do because they say it here. Ah, I okay. just read it in the. Doesn't seem to have a. Is oh. he after me? Yeah. Okay. So, uh... he, so he can't see me if I'm in a bush. I think. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's quite. That's quite. That's a nice little. How far in a bush do I have it's to It's about you after oh dear. a bit. Um, yeah, sorry, where do we get to? So we were talking about presentation. Yeah, so, um, yeah. No audio salary. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I think a good would be professional, complete and effective. I don't think it's up that level, right? Um, it, it's, it, the, the graphics are kind of there, um, I think. But the the lack of sound and the simplicity of the information, I think, probably means that it's it's not achieved that. 
Um, so that kind of leaves us, you know, we, would you say it's workable or would we say it's flawed? Um, and I would say that it's kind of... It doesn't feel flawed. Well, it, it's... yeah. Maybe um, I mean the lack of sound is a. I I would say perhaps oh, yeah. put it put it halfway between the two because it's the graphics are, are actually quite nice and I like it but the but it feels it feels like it's definitely missing something because of that audio. Um, I don't know the graphic the graphic thing is nice the animation's nice that all works and the cat the cat's not animated which is a shame but the <laughs> the main squirrel is. So. Yeah, give. I think given that it's the, the work of a single person, maybe we give the benefit yeah, of the doubt yeah. and say say it's a workable. So that'd be satisfactory. Um, and then play. Um, so it's definitely playable, right? I can play it. I can. I, I know what I'm trying to achieve. It's challenging. I I wouldn't really describe it as engaging. If I'm honest, I think kind of. It just doesn't have enough elements to it. Um, yeah. But I think I think I could, I would definitely say it's playable. So that's a satisfactory level. Uh, no bugs that we know. Of. No. no, I haven't seen any. I, we've got this kind of weird thing with the the controls that the controls are slightly odd, which 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 yeah. makes it feel like. I'm not fully in control of what's going on. Um, if I go back here. Have I got the options? Yes, I've got, I've got two levels. Um, so let's talk about um, level design. So we've got two levels. Um, we're looking for goals, risks, and rewards, and pacing. So in terms of goals, risks, and rewards, I definitely know what I need to do. I need to collect the nuts, and I need to get out of dodge basically um, so I think the goal is very clear it's, it's, it's pretty simple but it's there the risks and rewards though do you think I've got risks and rewards here uh, definitely the cut adds potential risk but why would I but, but we're talking about choices so are there things that I could choose to do that I would choose not to do because the cat was there? You, uh, yeah. So, so, so here's a here's a simple idea, right? So, what about if there was, um, if there was a small room off of this one, where there were uh, a set of a set of giant acorns, but there was a cat in the room. So I can either run around this big space here, okay, and collect these little acorns and stay well away from the cat. So, you know, tension is low, but it's nice and easy. But it takes me a while. Or I can run into the little room and there I can collect these giant acorns, but it's but I am forced into close proximity with a cat and I have to hide and I have to use use things. That that would be a that would be a goal risk reward, right? Uh, would be a risk reward rather. So I, yeah, there, it's very limited. I mean, there's there is a certain amount, a bit like the the last game. You know, it's built into play, right? That I can choose. You know, do I wait for the cat to move, or do I go in and and get the get the acorn straight away? Um, but I think it's a bit limited. So, so a pass would be a, a, a limited set of goals, risks, and rewards, um, and a pull would be a kind of incoherent or very limited set. And I think I think maybe you know the risks and rewards. Uh, the goal's clear, so that that I think is higher than that. So maybe yeah. between them we're looking at a pass, for, you know, basically saying a, there's a limited set of goals and risk rewards here, kind of built into gameplay. Um, yeah. Pacing. Um, so I've got two levels, and the first level there is no cat. And I only have to pick up, was it nine acorns? And in this level, there yeah. are a lot more acorns and there is a cat. So there is clearly some tension rising over time. It's very straightforward. I would have liked to have seen a, a kind of a, a slightly more gradual set of things that I had to deal with. 
Um, you know, so and again, this is this isn't about adding new stuff to the game. It's about kind of using what you've got effectively. Um, so, uh, you know, just having another level with multiple cats in it, for example. Um, so why not? Why not? When I complete this level, just have exactly the same level again, but with two cats in it. You know? uh, yeah, that's. Uh... So, you know, or you can imagine variants of this where uh, you have smaller rooms. Like I said, small rooms with cats in would be harder. Um, so, having had a big space with a cat in, you know, maybe you give me um, uh, a big space with with two cats in, and then after that, maybe you give me a smaller space with two cats in. Right? You kind of have a have a real progression. There's no need to add anything to the game, really. Um, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just using the elements that you have. So, okay. So in terms of in terms of that pacing, uh, tension somewhat rises over time. Maybe uh, yeah. through the levels, maybe. Um, poor will be variations in tension, but no coherent pattern. I think it's better than that, but I yeah, I'm not sure. Not yeah. Again, I think I I would normally be. I, I, again, because it's a single person and therefore there's less they can do in terms of developing levels and so on, maybe that makes it a pass. You know, tension somewhat rises over time. But I do think it's a shame they didn't do a bit more with it. I think they, they could have done more with what they had. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then we're on to the tutorial. Uh, so I'm trying to remember the tutorial. If I get eaten by the cat, does it give me the tutorial every time? You have to go to the first level, and I, I think it does give you... Right, so if I go back and I say play, level one... Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. So the tutorial, it tells me the controls, right? So that's pretty clear. It's on screen, they flash, and then I'm off. Um, and, and, then, and then I... I'm, close the mouse. It shows the mouse, and I'm, I'm forced into it. I, I think that... I think it's oh, yeah, probably to... it's probably just about possible for me to creep around the edge of this without <laughs> right. So you try you... to finish the level without. That's a very uh, good point. Collecting them. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Hang on. <laughs> this is what I was saying about the controls being a bit awkward. You need more oh. nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, I also love the little animation of the squirrel when he gets a nut. He looks. He looks. He looks. He's. He's like a little, he does a little yay. Um, so, so I, I think that again, if you were doing it a bit tighter, you would force me to, to, to see those. Um, but they, they've almost done that. So I think there's, so I think there's a little bit of instruction at the beginning. There's a little bit of using level design to kind of lead me through. Um, and, uh, you know, here it, it brings me to this. Yeah, this, the, I get the, the no vision thingy and the cat thingy. So maybe it could be a bit better explained. We were a bit puzzled, but it, it is kind of there. So I think um, a pass would be gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play. And I think it does that. Um, satisfactory yeah. would be gradual explanation of gameplay and controls, but this time aligned aligned with play. So. Um, as you are required to do things. And I think it does that as well, doesn't it? Kind of, particularly this bit here where I've got the cat and it's giving me the warning sign and, I've, and I'm learning it on this level. And a um, good would be fully aligned with play. Um, and I don't know. I, Oops. Oh, there's the cat. <laughs> hiding. Yeah. Look <laughs> That can be literally frozen in place. I mean, that's very true to real life. I think they do freeze. They do, it. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want the cat to go away now. Um, is it fully aligned with play? The problem is there's not a lot of play. Yeah. yeah um, and the... and there, I mean, the you know beyond that, we're asking them to start to kind of you know we're asking them to start communicate through level design and teach us things through level design and I. They're not doing that. Um, so I think for the tutorial, it, it should be at the satisfactory level. It, it is it is kind of aligned with play as we go, but a little bit loosely, hence not a, not, a, not up at the good level. Yeah, um, yeah. So, and 
Where does that take us to? Core dynamic. F I run. Oh, oh, the cat found me tasty. Core no. dynamic. Um, I, I'm guessing it's collection. Let's see, so the core dynamic of my game mainly focuses on a collection dynamic. Yeah. Uh, so the players are tasked to discover and collect several nuts that are scarred throughout the each level. Uh, yeah, so once they collect them, they can finish the level. Later levels introduce enemies. Uh, this shows traits like an evading dynamic. Um, yeah. Further uh, reinforcing this idea, the player has the option of hiding in bushes to avoid getting spotted by the enemies, allowing them to strategize and plan their evasion from the enemies. By mixing these two dynamics, I have created an engaging and dynamic gameplay experience. So that's what they say about the core dynamic. Yeah. Um... I definitely agree on the collection. Yes. Yeah. What was, what was the other I can see what they mean about the yeah. evading. Evading, yeah. No, I think I think it works well. I again, I kind of. It's slightly frustrating in a way because because they those two dynamics go together really nicely, right? So you know this idea that that there's a reason for me to go out and dice with death, right? Because I'm collecting stuff. But at the same time, I'm trying to evade and get away, right? Um, and I just feel that they could have could have developed it a bit more. Um, so, a satisfactory would be a clear core dynamic that is partially supported by the primary mechanics. And it's, I think it's you know yes, it's a clear core dynamic collection. Um, I think it's better than partially supported. I mean, the, again, it, it, the problem is there's not many mechanics here. But the ones that here are 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 supporting it, so that would put it at the good level. Um, and I think excellent would be an integrated set of mechanics, and it doesn't have enough mechanics for that. I think. Yeah. Um, and prizeworthy is integrated with the additional core dynamics brought in as well. And I kind of feel that there was the potential to do that here, but but obviously they haven't they haven't got to that point. I think. So yeah, I think I think they've done done well on the core dynamic. I would say it's good. It's um, clear core dynamic that's supported well by the primary mechanics. Yeah. Um, and that takes us to feedback. So what yeah, was the... let's see what they say. Uh, for the first lab, I was criticized for having very verbose prompts and detailed the detailed instructions in the game. Right. Uh, this made the gameplay tedious and sluggish. Uh, I have taken this feedback into account and made a conscious effort to minimize the amount of text and use, text used to convey instructions and prompts in this game. Which is, yeah, I think that's absolutely... Yeah, that's worked work. well, isn't it? I'm just intrigued. I'm wondering if uh, I can outrun the cat. I can run yeah. faster than the cat. That's, that's slightly problematic. It kind of makes... Does the cat stop following me? Yeah. So I don't have to hide, look, I could just run away. Okay, so, um, yes, all right, which so I think that has be, worked, the, right? the, Yeah. So the thing with the running could be, you know, you could make the argument that this helps with the ghost risks and rewards, because now you can be like, <laughs> do, can, I do I try run? To or, or do yeah, I hide? Or hide? Yeah, you're right, Yeah, uh, I guess, so in a... In a limited way. Look at me trying to get into this yeah. bush because I can't blooming work properly. Um, so, yeah. After that, what do they <laughs> yeah, say? You can't see they, me now. Um, <laughs> they yeah. say that most of the controls and ideas are conveyed using uh, icons yeah. rather than text. Yeah. Uh, a cav caveat, caveat to this is some icons can be misleading and open to interpretation. Therefore, confusing the player, which, yeah, I think you had some trouble with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they say an example would be the hide icon. Uh, which is the exactly what like this, I have seen a significant positive difference with my approach of, to being less verbose. Oh, he got me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, so I, I, so I think, think they've they, done that well. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Were, were yeah. there any other elements that they had feedback on? Uh, that's 
everything they say. Okay, well, that's so... a shame because I because I think I think that's that's actually that's actually fine and it, and it's worked well. But I just I just think they're a kind of uh, you know there, there's so much they could have done with their core gameplay. I'm surprised they 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 didn't report anything there. Um, so you know satisfactory would be feedback was addressed and changes have been somewhat successful good would be feedback was addressed and changes have been successful um so the, and the problem here is they just haven't said much feedback yeah, really. but... um so i i kind of feel that what they have said yeah they've, they've addressed it and it's worked but i i want to know what else they were told um so for that reason I've, i i kind of feel that like we can't can't quite give the good yeah um, it's but, but maybe we can say a satisfactory you know that they've kind of they've reported at least one thing that they've managed to do and it, and it and it has worked and they've they have you know taken action and applied it within the game yeah 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 so yeah this is a this is a, 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 a i mean i again it's it is hard when it's a, a work of a single person because it is you're much more restricted in what you can achieve particularly when it comes to content you know in terms of adding in levels and those kinds of things but again it feels like it's a game where you could really build something nice on top of this um, and you don't need a lot of extra mechanics to make it work you just need a, a kind of a, um, a a kind of a, a more gradual series of levels that kind of build out and and use these elements to kind of create a better play experience um, and that would definitely have been possible but yeah good okay uh, yeah. let's move on Right, so our last game is, uh, well, it's the, the XE is called Tower Defense, but I think the name of it is Castle Defender. So I think they've already given away the type of game it is. Uh -huh. So title here. Um, okay, I'm getting a feeling, I get a feeling they're a bit rushed. Uh, let's hit play. Welcome to Castle Defender. Your mission is to protect your castle from waves of enemies. Are you ready to defend your kingdom? Yes, I like the I like this by the way. A little drifting snow field. That's quite cute. Yeah. Nice graphics as well. This is all all very nice. Looks good. Um, oh, bit. Oh, that's quite a lot of text though. Your objective is survive all the waves of enemies without letting eight castle get destroyed. Build your defenses by buying different towers and coins by killing enemies. Enemies will come in waves. Survive all waves to achieve victory and save your kingdom. Right. Tower defense, brilliant. Yeah, that's um, pretty much. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a sucker for tower defense games, so let's see. How we do. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're use your WAS keys them, to but... move around the battlefield. Well, they don't do anything. Press Q to rotate the left and E to rotate right for a better view of the action. Ah, all good. So I was about to complain that that was a lot of a dump at the beginning, and that rather what I would rather do is they'd rather be they talked it through to me nice and gradually. But that actually looks like what they're going to do. So. I've got 50, so I can click a balance tower and I can stick one down. So in tower defense fashion, I guess I will pop it on the, on the corner here. So kind of, it's interesting that I, I was expecting a grid or, but there, oh, there is a grid, but it's just a lot smaller than the, can I, oh, also, can I put it anywhere? I can't put it there. I get like a, that's an interesting little animation. Um, so can I just pop it there for example yeah okay wave one starting here we go so that's a balance tower wasn't it so here come the things oh I was also about to complain there was no sound but I can hear it firing ah. right so is my, my tower looks like it's gonna do it no it's not oh I can do another balance tower so let's build one oh, hang on a minute oh no wouldn't let me place it. Here we go. Okay, wave one ended. All right, so I, I was rather hoping that it would, it would, my one tower would be able to uh, do the job. But I'm wondering. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure what these other towers do. Like a heavy. So here we go. Is there a speed up? Normally in a tower defense, there's a speed up button somewhere, but I can't see one. I don't think so for this one. Right. Do you think I ought to go for a heavy or another balance tower? I'm thinking another balance tower at the but moment. Maybe. 
Well, I can I can upgrade them as well. But upgrading them costs uh, more than buying a new one. That's kind of interesting. Let's buy another balance tower. I also appear to be able to build them on the road. Oh, yeah. Waves it through. gives you a bit of time to build between the waves, I yeah. think. Yeah. And there's no pause button. That's the other thing you normally have is a pause button. Oh, this is a bit better. Alright, so shall I build up, see if I can save up for a heavy tower maybe? That's what a heavy oh, tower look like. What the... No, there. Heavy tower doesn't seem to do anything. So I, I quite like, I quite like, that's the circle of effect, is it? I would guess. It's a shame that's not over the path. Yeah. But yeah, okay, so here we come. So maybe I should build another heavy tower over here. Oh yeah, the I heavy can't. does. So placing uh... is a bit weird, like there seems to be some sort of bug or something where I can't. Oh, I see. It's sort of flying off for some reason, but there we go, I'll pop one there. Okay, that's good. What's a poison tower do? Should we build a poison tower? Yeah, somewhere at the beginning, so it poisons go. them. I presume poison tower does damage over time. I don't think that's there's any. The... I don't think there's any explanation of what the difference between these towers is, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Let's have a look. Poison tower leaps into action. Any minute now. <laughs> Little puff. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I love I love, I love the little sound effect. It sounds like I'm spraying for breeze. <laughs> I'm not killing <laughs> enemies. Right, I I noticed that I've um I put another one up here. I I'm not being pressed very much so far. I think this has been quite my waves very little's got round my first corner, I think. Maybe put another heavy tower in. I put one in there. Yeah, yeah. I think there's something going on with the placement. Oh, I can upgrade. I haven't upgraded yet, have I? Uh, yeah, try that when. Oh, yeah, sorry. I keep building towers. I'm getting excited. Right. So let's try upgrading. Uh, I need a bit more money. Let's upgrade this one here. See what it does. Right. Upgrade. Oh, so it's got a blue ah. flag. It's got a little blue flag on it. And I can upgrade it again. Yeah, it's a bit faster and I think more damage. Yeah, here we go. So level two. Oh, it does tell me here, actually. I do tell a lie. I can click on yeah. So this doesn't tell me, but this does. So that's level one, 20. Level two, 25. And the fire rate goes up as well. And then the poison. Uh, fire damage is five, but... Is it pausing? What? I'm not quite sure why they're... Poison smoke. What happens if I upgrade that one? Oh, it just gets bigger. The, that, the radius gets bigger. Uh. And can I upgrade that one? I can, but I need lots of money. So the poison seems to stop them. So I, I assumed that poison would damage them over time, but it appears to pause them. Maybe... That specific enemy. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay, I just can carry on doing this. Should we start making our way through the uh, the mark scheme? Yeah. Um, presentation. Yeah. Um, there's no music, which That's is a little audio. bit of a shame. But the, but yeah. yeah, the graphics are nice. I think. Yeah, it, they feel. They don't feel out of place. I think. No. Um. Everything is consistent. I'm not entirely sure what these are. What are these? What are these things? Uh -huh. I can't see whether they're like blobs. little blobs or pigs or teapots or what really. That appears to be a Mario shell. Um, <laughs> Blue shell, yeah. Uh, yeah, they get a bit more resistant now. I'm gonna upgrade my. I'm gonna upgrade my big heavy tower here. Uh, so and there's does. also the, go. I guess, the design of the UI, you know, oh, with the uh, ah, paper. 
Yeah, so we got yeah. the yeah that looks nice, and the fonts the fonts are all nice. I think they're consistent, and information design. Um, there's some information Would missing about what the ty- what the towers do, but you know yeah. I've got I've got a little flag on them showing what what uh, whether they're upgraded or not. Um, they've got different different graphics. This one's got a shield on it because it's a heavy tower. That might have been nicer to have a more distinctive heavy tower. I, I quite like the fact that this is quite radically different. Um, I'm going to upgrade my poison smoke tower. It just gets bigger, does it? Yeah, so it's quite cheap to upgrade that one. So let's upgrade my... Um, so yeah, I think the information design is generally pretty good. I know how much money I've got. I, the waves are there. That's all very well presented. Um... I haven't got time to next wave or anything, but that seems okay at the moment. I think that in your case, I can move around. I, why would I oh, ever? Yeah, want, why would? That. Why would I ever want to do that? Oh wow, that's nice. Maybe. I mean, it's fine, but no, yeah, not. Uh, there's it's... a blue bar at the top that you can see that slowly it. Ah, oh, is that is that the? Is that's that... the. Is that the yeah. wave? How many enemies uh, are left? Right. Okay. So w once it gets to the end, that means you've killed them all. And so that's that's quite nice. It's place. just it's just it's a bit hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Is, at, is... at first, I thought it's like an experience bar or something, but yeah. then I realized it's just. I'm gonna build another heavy tower. I think heavy. I'm gonna put them here. Not sure what the heavy towers actually do. They fire cannonballs slowly, but they're very yeah. Powerful. The damage is like two hundred and twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay, uh, we have hmm. and the audio. I can hear some sound effects. Yeah, so I've got some shooting noises. I've got a nice little puff coming from the the poison tower. Um, as I said, I'm d I'm definitely missing some music. I think some ambient music would have been really good. But you know, yeah. Generally speaking, oh, I've upgraded that. To, is that level three now? That one. So it's got two. It's got two things on it. So is that and that one has as well. I hadn't noticed that. So yeah, I I think in general the presentation is pretty good. So professional would be good. Would be complete and effective. Impactful would be that and appealing. Um, if they had some music, I think I might have even gone for the appealing because the graphics are quite quite nice actually. Um, but I think mm, as, yeah. without it, I think it's still at the good level, still professional, uh, good you know, good to see. Um, yeah. Okay, so that takes us on to meaningful play. Um, so far, it's been fairly playable, although not that challenging. I guess we'll get to that later. Um, maybe it will change. Um, but, you know, in terms of thinking about the mechanics, the controls, whether it's got bugs or not, there seemed to be a little bug about placing the tower, but it wasn't particularly serious. Other than that, it seems to work really well. Um, and it's, it's quite playable like it's it's fairly engaging the 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 reason that i'm not more engaged i think is because i i i'm, I'm not doing a lot which in some ways is not yeah. as useful for a let's play because i can concentrate on talking to you but um you know it, it might be nice if if i was a bit more oh i need 550 to upgrade that up I'll, I'll, I'll wait i want to have a super tower at some point so I think it's gonna yeah, maybe it's maybe gonna get tougher in a minute. Forward button. So maybe if I maybe so it's wave twelve. As uh, I went red because I couldn't place it, so that's quite good. Uh, let's upgrade that one. I'm gonna st stop. I want to upgrade. I want to have a super tower. So that's uh, maybe I can go for that one's. They're both level. Oh, that's a level three tower. Let's upgrade the level three tower in a minute. Let's see. See if that makes a different. So yeah, so I think the the play um, is is definitely playable. Um, I think it's engaging. I the mechanics. 
I mean, it's it's it's. I wouldn't say it's necessarily of high complexity, but so I I wouldn't necessarily say it's in the fun bracket, right? I'm maybe we'll get there as this gets a bit more frantic. Um, and I know that tower defense games can be quite slow burners. You know, you tend to sit there for a while and, and uh, <laughs> let yeah. them go. But um, so kind of want to upgrade this one. But yeah, I'm concentrating on this. I'm not having to spread my defenses out. I kind of. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, I think probably we're at the engaging level for play. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe maybe halfway towards fun. There you go. Oh, I can upgrade Why? it. Let's upgrade. There we go. So my heavy mm. tower. Does that do much different than a... So that does 220. No, it doesn't actually upgrade them that much, does it? It's cost me a lot of money for not much. I think I'd be much better off building more. Yeah. Yeah, other types of towers, I think. But at least I am having to build other types of towers now, right? They're kind of... Yeah, the, the, enemy, uh, the enemies do... are becoming... Harder to pierce without. Yeah, here we go. Let's put some more balanced towers in. There we go. Right. Okay. So. Um, so that's that leads uh, us to the yeah. level design. And the goals, risks, and rewards, which this and you know tower defense games have have it kind of inbuilt. Yeah, so obviously by that you mean I, I'm making decisions about what to build. Um, they don't feel yeah. like the decisions don't feel quite as clean as they might be though. It's mm, it's a lot yeah. more expensive to upgrade a tower than it is to build a new tower. Um, and I think I've got these 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 poison ones. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think they slow down the enemies, but. I don't know actually. So I'm I'm building them, you know. So I built one here in order to to slow them down in this sort of killing zone here, and this one to slow them down when they get to the corner. But I'm not a hundred percent sure that that I'm right. Um. So yeah, my my, there's definitely some risks and rewards, but they're a little bit muddled. I think. Um, goal's very clear. I've got to stop them getting to the end. Um. How much damage do you think I'd take if one of those did get to the end? Uh, would it end the game, or would it? Could I, you know? It it feels like the green bar at the top is the health. I'm guessing the that's health. the health, but I've not taken any damage yet. And so it, you yeah. know, it, it might have been useful. So I think it would have been useful to tell me up front what would happen if they slip through, right? So maybe, for example. Yeah, that's the... um, in the first wave, if they set it up so that I couldn't destroy everything and some got through and it caused me damage, right? It um, almost was like that, actually. You just had enough money. I just had enough, yeah. It was, it, yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, so so the goal, the goal, I think, is clear in that I, you know, I don't want to get to the end. But also the consequences for failure aren't very clear. So, so I think that the goals, risks, and rewards are all here. Right, um, and they're coherent, but I wouldn't say that they're particularly clear. I wouldn't say that you really know exactly what your choices are. Um, so the, that that kind of sets them, I think, at probably at the satisfactory level. Yeah. Yeah, like you don't. Sometimes you don't feel the need to use other towers than just balance, maybe, and yeah, I, exactly. Just spam a lot of them. So, you know, I'm also, you know, I'm not seeing enemies that have, you know, a way to introduce more risk reward stuff in here would be to have different types of enemies that have different resistances to different types of things, right? So, so maybe my, um, my, you know, my heavy towers, if they were explosive towers or flame towers or something, maybe some of the wow. enemies that come through are resistant to fire and therefore I have to balance up kind of how many of yeah, different, yeah. different types of towers that I have. Um, but at the moment, yeah, that all feels kind of a little bit, little bit neutral. Yeah, that's a really nice way to 
Um, which takes on to pacing. So, yeah. the problem they've got here... So, in, in the lecture, one of the things we talk about is the way that um, you, you can design a game that gets more difficult over time, objectively. Right? And that's what's happening here, right? So we're, the waves are getting, they're getting more, are getting more stuff coming on screen. Um, if this had happened at the beginning of the game, I wouldn't have been able to cope, right? But the problem yeah. is, is that as your game progresses, one of the things that happens is that um, the player gets more powerful within your game, right? They pick, up, they pick up ammo, they pick up weapons, or in this case, they build towers. And I would say that my ability to deal with enemies is going up faster than the difficulty of the enemies, at the minute at least. So it feels like I'm well in control. I'm not really being challenged. Um, yeah. And which makes yeah. the tension which 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 very... actually which actually means that the tension doesn't rise over time. So I, yeah. I, I, so I think we've got a kind of interesting thing where they've obviously designed it so it gets, you know, objectively gets more difficult over time. But because of because of your ability in the game, it, it, it actually is the opposite. It gets easier over time, right? It's, it's e this is the easiest. Um, you know, the, t the tutorial one was harder, right? Because I had to very quickly place another tower to catch the last. You know, that's the last sort of bit of real excitement I had. I think. Um, <laughs> And in a way, this is the hard part of you know of these types of games because yeah, you have yeah. to look at the numbers, see how yeah. you know players interact, and yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some really good examples of this, particularly on mobile. So things like um, Plants vs Zombies and those kinds of things. But I remember one game. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of it now. But one of the things they did, I thought, was very nice. Was at the end of every wave, you got interest. On whatever money you had in the bank, uh, and the only way to win the game was to underspend at the beginning of the game. So by the end of the game, your interest was really high, and that enabled you to buy oh. the powerful towers. So that was really nice because it, it, it encouraged you to kind of you you encouraged you to build just enough all the time, and it kept that tension all the way through. Because you always knew if you overbuilt, you wouldn't have enough money left at the end, and your interest basically it was a, it was a, it was teaching you about cumulative interest, right? Um, so uh, so yeah. that's quite a nice way of doing it. But yeah, here it's a problem. So so here we go. So I mean, a pass would be tension somewhat rises over time. Poor would be there are variations in tension, but no coherent pattern. Uh, absent would be pacing is flat, and I it doesn't quite do justice to this because they they do have. Like I said, objectively, yeah, it they, it's raising. Um, so, but the effect, the effect, unfortunately, is that it doesn't go up. Um, so, you know, I, I, oops, let's think about this. So, pass would be tension somewhat rises over time. I mean, maybe you could argue that I've got more towers to, to manage. You know, I've there's more enemies coming on screen. But yeah, I, I don't think I could give it any higher than that because of this effect, unfortunately. Um. Uh, I'll upgrade that one. Yeah. Um, okay, so that takes us on to the tutorial at the beginning. So if you remember, we had quite a big info dump and then it told me to place a tower and I thought that was going to be the start of a really nice progressive tutorial. But then... It wasn't. Um, mm. After it told me to place the balance tower, we've not had anything else since, have we? Whereas I, I really I don't think so. Yeah. yeah, I think what I really wanted to see was kind of you know right place a balance tower and then oh here comes an enemy where the balance tower doesn't affect them, so you need to place a heavy tower, right? And uh, oh you know we, we're about to have a lot of very fast enemies, so now you have to place a poison tower to slow the slow the enemies down, right? Uh, and um, it also can be, you know, teaches you upgrades. And yeah, etc. yeah, and you know exactly, and then talks you through those things. So I, I, I kind of feel a little bit of a missed opportunity because they, they've built the mechanism by which they can do that, right? Ooh, right. Um, ah, that's interesting. So it looks to me like we are finally getting to the point where these are about to be overwhelmed, right? So let's build a couple more towers. 
Um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a missed opportunity. So this is interesting. Mm. So all of a sudden, it's currently, yeah, this is a bit better. Right, so here we go. So now, now I definitely feel the pace going up. But it was very sudden. But it was quite sudden. It's unexpected. Wait, yeah. Twenty-one. And again, I'm not entirely sure if I really need these other towers. Oh, all waves completed. Oh. Play again. Oh, that's why. It that's why it got sudden at the end. So, so we did see a bit of an uptick in the end, right? They tried to give us a, a kind of a final, final rise. Uh, what have we got on here? Yeah. Settings. Oh, music. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there is music. Okay. And sound effects. Sound effects we could obviously hear anyway. Well, let's. Oh, look at that. Well, I tell you what. I think I we said the... when we. Oh. Oh, hang on. Is it going to... Oh, that's interesting. It's still at zero. When, I, when we did the presentation, I said... Oh, perfect music! I think oh, we, wow. we, we said it was professional and good, and I said, unfortunately, I couldn't... It wasn't impactful, because it didn't... Exactly. Now it is, right? So yeah. I think the presentation mark can go up to, to excellent. Um, but yeah, here's the problem, right? So I get a big, big dump of stuff... I get these keys, which I still don't think are that interesting. Um, I'm going to try something. I'm going to just try... Um... And Play. it also doesn't necessarily tell you what the towers do. Yeah, so, it, look, so, I, know, so there the I've... Tower. No. So I've placed that tower badly, right? Deliberately. So... Is it going to switch around and shoot them? No. So, oh, well, let's find out what happens when it gets to the end. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, very full portentous music now. Here we go, what happens? Oh. Okay, some health. Right, but I still... I haven't got any, I haven't got any money, so I can't upgrade the tower. So I think I'm doomed. Right? Because I, I didn't kill anything. Oh. I think I'm just doomed to die now. And you cannot move it as well. You can destroy it. But it doesn't give any money Does back. That give you money. Let's find out. No. I oh, don't I don't think this game's gonna go well. <laughs> yeah, I think that's But also I've got no end game condition. Alright, we'll let this play out because I'm, i I wanna see what happens when I die. Um So yeah, so where did we get to? So we tutorial. tutorial. So um, a pass would be gradual explanation of gameplay and controls revealed as you play. Um, a satisfactory would be uh, aligned with play. They they haven't done that, unfortunately. They they could have done, right? But so the question is: Is it revealed as you play, right? Um, it mm. does take you through, and then it gets you to place a thing, and then the initial wave. They certainly haven't used level design to teach you the game. Um, and they haven't... I mean, a poor would be some explanation of gameplay and controls, and a pass would be gradual explanation revealed as you play. So it's really a question of, of if that's sufficient or not, I guess. Yeah. Mm, it feels... yeah... Uh, so for me, maybe I, in between. Yeah, I think, I think it probably is. I I think there's a bit too much of a memory dump at the beginning, unfortunately. Information dump at the beginning. Right. I think mercifully this wave will kill me. So that's quite oh good. yeah, yeah. Survive to wave three. Right. Okay. Um. All right, so I just got a game over screen, and then I can hit retry and go back in. Um, I'm now regretting having the music up because all I can hear is the music. <laughs> but um, all right, let's try. Uh, so what I was going to do now is just place a balance tower, and then just use balance towers and see if that worked. 
see whether I can get to the end. Okay. So, um, although we, we probably won't get that far. Um, yeah. So I think that takes us on so to I... the core dynamic, doesn't it? Core dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what have they said? Do. What are they gone for? Presumably uh, survival. Yes. So they say the core dynamic is survival, uh, as Ooh. the goal is to outlast as many waves of enemies as possible. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not getting any waves of enemies. Oh, no. minor bug. Okay, I that's. Think. Uh... Yeah. There's no, no enemies are forthcoming. So perhaps because I hit the, because I'm in this in the replay. So let me. Maybe yeah. Let me launch this again and see if we can get that to. To work. Hang on a second. Here it comes. Yes. In the meantime, yes. Yeah, so they pretty much explain that you know the tower oh. takes damage when uh, enemies hit it and. The player score is the way they survived until, okay. which you know is like a survival mechanic. Yeah. Uh, core dynamic. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you you know you've also got, I mean, there's other dynamics going on in these types of games, such as um, yeah, destruction. Uh, you've got you know, bit, the, yeah, you've or, got destruction. You've arguably got a bit of resource management. Oh, I forgot I need to pull one up yeah. to catch him. Oh, if I do it too late, it's going to get through. <laughs> oh no! Yes. <laughs> all right, never mind. That was be interesting. We'll see if I've, I, I heal at all or anything to heal me. Um, but yeah, okay. And so Same. they say that the building, destruction, and trading mechanics all exist to help the player survive. Which yeah, that's yeah. They've certainly made it so. Yeah, I kind of again, it's it's sort of a little bit inherent in the genre, right? Um, and it's the balance that's yeah. a very difficult thing. But, but yeah, I mean, they've kind of, you know, I don't think they've got confused with other 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 elements. Um, uh, there we go. So, so a good would be a clear core dynamic that is supported by the primary mechanics. If um, and, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, and I, I think excellent would be an integrated set of mechanics. And I just don't think we've got the complexity that yeah. we need. So I, I, I think I think at the good level is probably about right. Oh, I can build another balanced one. So I've built it in the middle. Will it shoot both sides? Um, if so, you upgrade it. So that takes us on to... Well, I don't, think the, I don't think the upgrade actually changes the... I'm interested whether. Uh, yeah. So yeah, the feedback and response section. Yeah. Uh, so this is interesting because they say we were advised to find a way to make waves harder as the game progressed. Uh, we therefore implemented a blue enemy with increased health and slower movement with the corresponding yeah. heavy tower, which has a much slower fire rate but more damage. Uh, we also introduced a poison tower which damages all enemies in a specific area, which is useful for waves, waves with high volume of enemies. So the problem is, is uh, that the, the ones that slow them down, they're particularly good when you have. Ah, um... oh, that's interesting. I hadn't realised you could build them on the path. <laughs> that's a known issue that they actually mentioned. How is it? Yeah. Um... So what happens? Can I can I totally block the path? Uh, yeah. I think enemies just pass through it. It's a shame. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. So the problem with the you know what you want is you want to have interesting combinations of towers, right? So you want to have an area effect tower and a tower that slows things down so they bunch up, right? You want to have towers that shoot everything in a in a line. As opposed to shoot an area, and then you can position them on the end of kind of killing alleys, and you want to slow stuff down in those alleys. So yeah. there's all sorts of ways that that tower defense games kind of make those combinations work. So I think I think they've kind of partially got that right. Um, yeah, you know, solid wall of towers. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Um, yeah, so they've, they've sort of partially got that, but it, but it hasn't quite worked in full. Right? Was there any other bits of feedback that they had? 
so yeah they do say that uh, the combination of enemy types as the game progresses requires more strategic strategic planning and therefore increases the difficulty which i think you're showing that maybe that's not as yeah uh, I mean, I'm, I'm being a bit unfair here because i'm exploiting the bug i suppose but yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, uh, and they also the other thing they also say is we were also advised to add sound effects, which we have done throughout the game. Yeah, so that's that's worked and has improved. Just forgot yeah. to turn them up at the beginning by the beginning by default. Um, so <laughs> yeah. okay, so I would say that satisfactory is feedback was addressed. The changes have been somewhat successful. And that kind of describes what they've done, right? So, so they, they've some of the some of the easier changes, like the sound effects, they've done and have worked. But the more complex ones, such as to increase the level of challenge, they've tried. They, they've but tried, but it, it just hasn't quite worked. So, you know, what what they needed to do was they needed to make these blue ones not have more health, but be resistant to the small towers, right? So that yeah. a blue one would just come straight through my massive club. Because what, what they effectively have here is a dominant strategy, right? So the dominant strategy is just build loads and loads of towers starting at the bend. That's the cheapest thing to do, and it's the most effective thing to do. Um, yeah. And, and that's, that's, that's the real problem they have. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I think a satisfactory would, would probably be about right. Okay, as, yep. as tempted as I am to just see if I can get to wave 21 without a kind of a speed up function, I, I think we should probably leave it there. But I'm, I'm pleased yeah. to see a tower defense game because I love them so much. I'm a total sucker for tower defense games. Um, they're like a guilty pleasure for me. I know I should be off <laughs> playing interesting indie games and narrative games because um, of uh, the research but, I do. Yeah, but, I, the but, but yeah, just a sort of a, 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 a really nicely balanced tower defense game. So yeah, so thank you for doing that. It looks great, um, but I think you've, you've you've fallen foul of, of the most difficult thing with a tower defense game, which is which is getting the balance right and getting it so that you yeah. get that rising difficulty and that um, you know all the bits interact in such a way that it actually becomes harder or at least the difficulty is sustained. So, but, so, but yeah, good try though, good try. Right. So I think that is the last game in our video. So thanks for watching and we will see you again in the next video.